Hi, today I'd like to introduce you to Olympus E620. Olympus E620 is uh, Olympus Wegener camera that also belong to Fortran system. This camera is popular because of the size. It's regarded one of the smallest DSLR camera up to date with uh, a lot of features up-to-date features such as image stabilization built in to the camera so when you mount anything to this uh, this camera it'll basically gain the benefit of the image stabilization image stabilization will help tremendously in the low light condition but it cannot freeze subject for example the sport photography stuff but it's really useful considering if you um, have a camera that doesn't have a IS uh, image stabilization you need to get the lens that have a image stabilization built in the lens and it's uh, generally cost uh, more expensive the other one is um, of it um, famous for it the swivel LCD screen that uh, that uh, inherited from uh, Olympus E3, the flagship camera. So this swivel LCD screen really helpful when you take pictures uh, overhead or um, in low angle. And it also works works well um, in focusing live view. It takes a while, one, two second, but generally it's uh, really accurate. Let's uh, let me show you how it works. Uh, there is a button here to activate live view, dedicated button, which is great. Okay, now what you see is the live view mode uh, activated. To focus, you just need the half press the button. Okay, and when you see the green dot here, it means that uh, the camera already locked the focus and then you just press uh, f all the way down to take the pictures okay that's how it works in the live view mode and auto focusing it the shutter sound is uh, pretty annoying it's uh, the mirror flipping in and out but uh, generally it's work to take pictures so so I don't have really I don't really Com complain too much about it. Now you s what you see is super control panel. It shows everything, every uh, major setting and important setting here. For example, the ISO, the uh, white balance and uh, uh, com compensation and uh, other uh, other setting, quality and everything. This super control panel is unique to Olympus which is great uh, because you can change and see your and change your setting really easily and really fast you can change the setting by clicking the appropriate menu like for example this is white balance menu and then you can change it by either using the four way controls or thumb dials and then after you done and then you can click OK and then you can see it here um, I use ca other brands um, camera and they don't even close to this super control panel interface very simple and easy to use which is a huge plus in uh, this system for the button it also has a lot of uh, dedicated buttons so to change the setting it's very easy and very fast the build quality of the camera is generally very good it has rubberized texture in the, the thumb rest in the back and also the grip which is great mounted here is um, Pancake's Olympus 25mm f2.8 which is very thin it makes like it is part of camera so this is very ideal if you're going to do some traveling but you don't want to carry 
um, carry ex uh, big big uh, SRR with uh, with uh, long lens or something, and then you can just get here and then get out and shoot. Comparing to other camera um, like Nikon D90, this is a considered mid-range or a step up from beginner cameras. Olympus E620 is significantly noticeable smaller. Um, it's also thinner because it doesn't really, Olympus has really sh very thin grip and D90 has a very thick thick hand grip but uh, well Nikon D90 is, uh, has a top LCD which is useful too so it has a good and bad and uh, each camera I'll discuss it later or in the block in the, my side so um, also the kit lens of the Olympus it's very small too. It's very short and small too. This is the 1442 millimeter Olympus kit lens. It is almost the same size uh, of the Nikon prime lens, which is really impressive. So it also comes with lens hood. Olympus really generous to give you lens hood. So it is a um, pretty good deal, I guess. The zoom lens, the telephoto zoom lens is is not significantly bigger too, which is really impressive, especially uh, for light travel to travel light. And this zoom lens, 40 to 150 millimeter, is great. So with this three lens, you just basically you can shoot most of the like 90 percent of the stuff. Um, you have a pancake lens for low light or artistic look. You have a kit lens, and you have a telephoto zoom lens with all uh, with with the hood. So, but uh, this camera has the weakness too. Uh, the first week, the main weakness because it has four third sensor, which is smaller than regular DSLR camera. This has two major implications. One is the image quality is not as good as the bigger sensor, um, especially in a high ISO setting in low light condition. It's uh, really more noise and uh, less detail. The second implication if the, the viewfinder is uh, very small in this camera and it's like look like a it's like you're looking in the tunnel and if you wear glasses it's a uh, it's more uncomfortable to see from the viewfinder but you can always use the live view but uh, the problem with live view is the slow autofocus and uh, it's make a, a lot of noise when you take the pictures so that's it uh, that's all about uh, this camera, the strength and weaknesses, and I hope that uh, you can visit my uh, site radiantlight.com for image sample or few, full review about this camera and also other cameras and uh, other reviews like photography books and uh, lenses and uh, accessories. So thank you for your attention. See you next time.